The Prime Minister of Australia accepted a crushing defeat of historic referendum that could have paved the way for Indigenous Australians to be heard and represented in the parliament for the first time. Gina Salin has the news. Hurt was evident among the First Nations people as Australian Indigenous leaders called for a week of silence and reflection after a referendum to recognize them in the Constitution was decisively rejected. The Indigenous Voice to Parliament was a proposed Australian federal advisory body that aims to represent the views of Indigenous communities, mainly consisting of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. If it pushed through, a board of indigenous peoples would be created to advise the federal government on issues affecting their communities. The historic referendum launched on October 14 received an outstanding no in both national and state results. Proponents of the bill said that creating an indigenous voice via the constitution would recognize the first peoples of Australia and their special place in Australian history. Opponents, on the other hand, argued it would divide Australians along racial lines without reducing the disadvantages of the indigenous people. Advocates of the proposed federal advisory body have accepted defeat, including Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, who took responsibility for the crushing loss, while blaming the lack of bipartisanship support. The national no vote was 60% and the yes vote 40%, with the Australian Capital Territory the only jurisdiction to deliver a majority yes vote. The counting for state votes continues. Reporting from Melbourne, this is Shina Salim, SMNI News, Australia.